got a load of oil seed rate been redirected to us because it's been rejected for admix which basically means it's got too many little bits in it but all that means is we'll either clean it or we'll mix it with some that's got no little bits in and get it under four percent admix and then it'll go back to the mill right i'm on the bobcat i'm going backwards now i want to go forwards it won't let me because i select the reverse on that lever and that reverse lever is still in reverse so you have to put that to neutral and then put that back to neutral and then go back to forwards whereas if you're on a merlot you can use whichever lever or switch you want to change direction and it makes no difference because the reverse and reverse always returns to neutral and the switches are just push button switches whereas this is a rocker switch so to me it's really annoying that you sometimes want to press that sometimes want to press that like on a merlot and it just doesn't let you you've got to if you've committed to using that one when you start in the morning or, or when you're in neutral from first you have to carry on or if you started using that for when you set off you've got to carry on using that you can't flip between the two which is really annoying i will say though it's got plenty of power it's not got the reach of the merlot because it's only an eight meter machine and i think the reason it's got the power is because it's always in first gear it's okay but it's no merlot So now I'm backing up and I'm booming in and I want to change directions to going forwards. So I have to stop booming in and then flick that or I have to reach for this lever here, which is further away than the indicator lever. So yeah, really poor design. Hope they've changed it on the newer ones. Yeah, this is coming for admix and you can see it's basically just all this on the side, which we can pretty much rake off without even putting it to the cleaner. Obviously, word has got out that I love pigeons. Paul, who does our pest control, thinks that there's been a factory or some sort of warehouse knocked down, and this is a flock of pigeons that have basically come and found somewhere else to live, which is on our roof under the solar panels. So, in the daytime, they sit on the roof, at night, they go under the panels, and then they try and sneak in the doors as well when we open the shed doors. So, they need exterminating. Last wheel going on now, the other one's on. In a little bit. A bit windswept, just been getting the gear oil out of the uh, tunnel. It's been in there for about a fortnight since we put the drive shaft on. So it should be nicely, really hot, like 50 odd degrees. So now when we put it in the hub, one will know if it's gonna leak straight away because it'll run out. And two, it makes it easy to get through the hole sideways because you've got to put it through the side of the hub. It's normally like top of that, but now it's like water. Enjoy it. We'll get it into the hub. So much easier when it's on, though, yeah. So, yeah, coming out as well. Pizza spades arrived. Look at that. And this as well. This is a Bluetooth, look at this, Andy. A Bluetooth camera. Now, it works with an app. I thought it'd work with a, it'd come with a little screen. We have an app on your phone. Put it on the back of your trailers or in your tank with your fertilizer spreader. You can get it up on your phone, see what's oh, left. Or you can put like a little iPad in the screen. Three, what say, 300 foot range? 328 feet. Phil's reading the book now. Phil off the farming forum, look. <laughs> it's out the workshop and it's black. Just need to finish polishing it. And I remember yesterday, I was on about a plastic window for across there when we have the door open to keep the heat in. It's arrived, so we're going to put it up now so it's like. This is the window anyway now. We're just looking out the best way to fix it. I was thinking about magnets, but what we've done is we've put tech screws for now, just going up through the bottom of the door. So I'll put a few on, then I put a couple on the stanchion there and some bungee cords. So now when we're working in here, we can have that open, see what's going on in and out of the yard. Gets a bit more light in, but also keeps the heat in. And if we want, we can also roll the shutter up and down, leaving that still hooked on the bottom. Because most things aren't that high for coming in. So, this is obviously just a prototype, but I think it works really well. Just need to move all them bars stacked up there, put some tech screws in there for hooks, and more bungee cords. I've got a pile of bungee cords here. And there you go. The workshop's huge now. It's a... Uh, 
Now I've got a 936 part in the corner. Look at all the rubbish that's accumulated underneath it as we've been working on it. We can get all that swept up now. We've got some more room in them sometime. We might have a go with the MB track when we've got some parts for it. The time has come to say bye to the Bobcat. Let's come with another classic to pick it up, a 7930. We used to have a 7830, the same as that, with front linkage on it and green star. So watch it run over my pump, spray it, pipe. good sam's polishing it we just had three power cuts in the last 10 minutes so i don't know what's going on the electric has been terrible around here recently got the bonnet open on the bobcat before it goes and it is actually the ignition key that opens the bonnet anyway it's all quite guarded exhaust stop stuff going in go set it on fire this is bobcat on the engine as well there's the blue system it's cooler turbo it's also the same air filter that the merlot fits which we should have known we could have swapped them this has probably done less hours. <laughs> Enough of the Bobcat, let's have a look at this. Problem with these is you can't open the side window. Watch the shape bonnet. See how it's narrow here and wider there so the wheels can get more lock. Nice uncluttered cab. Probably the best cab they made, actually. John Deere, I reckon. One hell of a track to this, but this is going to sell it because one of the speakers has stopped working and um, it's not got Apple CarPlay. One of them belongs on the cool wall, but which one? Or possibly do they both? We had one of these and I was direct running one day with a border on the back and on the way home the car crashed into this front wheel and bent the rim right round like that and it was straight and it carried on but we had a 7 830 with like I say with front linkage for a few years but the cab on that it's, it's just the best cab they've ever made definitely the more I think about it Andrew's in love found another woman he's found another woman and her name's John <laughs> He thinks that uh, you should have bought one of them instead of his 4955. Well, that's because he's young, maybe, I don't know. But, but they are pretty cool. So I'm just gonna start polishing it now, get it shiny, so it looks like glass. Andrew's got the mini Merlots, he's gonna brush the yard. We've got Carmel Young Farmers coming for a tour tomorrow night, so cleaning the yard up for them. And then we've got some potholes, we're gonna fill this stone as well with the concrete breaking up. Just at the airport, not going on holiday, just doing another COVID test. Been doing one every day this last few weeks because of Charlotte obviously having it. You think tractors are big until you're near one of them. Yard looks a bit better now I've got back. Just get some stone in these holes, hopefully. It's alive! Well, it's moving. What's he doing? A bit of blue smoke. Look at him, he's happy in the sand boy. Andrew's got the big brush on now, clearing up. Nice sunset coming over. Robin's happy it's moving, but he's a bit disappointed because it's only doing about 20 mile an hour. It's not 40k, which is 25 mile an hour, but it's not too bad. 
I've got my pizza spade. Oh, look at the reflection of the sunset, the pizza spade. No, that's something you've never seen before. Yeah, uh, pizza oven worked really well. I'll show you a picture of or a video of what I did on Sunday night. Well, we cooked three pizzas in it on Sunday night. So anyway, I've got the proper shovel now, if it fits in the door. And it does. So that'll do. Pizza oven works. This is pizza number two. Just about to come out. If I don't melt my phone. Oop, what happened then? If I can't get a picture of the 936 on that sunset, but Sam's so still messing around polishing it. He's on the phone to EE to find out why no one's phone's working. Here we are on the black 936. Oh, the sunset's disappearing. Let's go try and go around here and get a good picture of it. Oh no, it's still there. In a the bonnet as well. I missed the sunset. It's disappeared. Bit of a team effort here, cleaning the yard. I'm sure, sure Spalding's do one of them that does all that in one go. So John keeps telling me, and he did actually say they'd send one of their big brushes on demo, ready for tidying up for the open day on the 15th of January. Anyway, uh, Phil called up, fill off the farming for him to help Robin with the maxim anyway. They've got it going, and it is 40k actually, because it wasn't revving hard enough on the foot throttle, but on the hand throttle it went faster. But they've kind of, there must be a wire broken somewhere, so they've bypassed it and got it working. So I don't know whether he's going to find a wire or just leave the new wire in, I don't know. But I feel that's, <laughs> Robin's now a happy man. The wood chipper was acting up yesterday. Anyway, turns out the one of the batteries, it's got two batteries on it, two big 12 volt batteries, but I think the AdBlue system runs on 24 volts and one of the batteries is only producing 10 volt. So we've got a new battery coming tomorrow for that and hopefully that'll clear that up. Because Andrew was trying to chip yesterday and it just kept cutting out for no reason, saying it had all sorts of faults with the AdBlue. So we presume that's what it is. So we'll stick that in the morning and see. Hopefully it might be a little bit drier. I've got some spraying to do, but I've also got an NFU meeting as well tomorrow, which may take up most of the day on the computer. But at least it's on the computer. I'm not going to drive to it. So I'll watch on the cameras, the lads cleaning the rest of the yard. Quick Chester update. He's uh, running up and downstairs. don't know how everyone else is feeling today. My cold's sort of disappearing, so I'm around 90%. Then I got up to 95 because I realized Caleb follows me on Instagram. Never realized he was following me for a while, but out of the sort of nearly a million people that follow him, he only follows 227 back and I'm one of them. So I'm in the 0.02.4% of the people in the UK that Caleb might find interested on Instagram perhaps. So that's the random fact for the day. The sun's obviously gone down and I couldn't get a picture but that also means I can't really do the birthday bumper on the basement because it's now gone dark. So we're in the, we are in the brew room and we can scrub off the black 936 on the wish list because we know well, it's been on that long. It won't rub off. So I have to put some brake clean on that. So we now have a black 936. These are today's birthdays, lots of them. You can read them. No, Evan, Charlie, Mike, Evan, well, I'll do it properly. Evan Conroy, Charlie Scammell, Michael Crowley, Seb, don't know your second name, but you've got your birthday on Instagram. Cooper Menshaw, Menshaw. Now that guy's in the USA. Now talk to the USA. I know Mike Mitchell is in Canada, but if you watch Mike Mitchell's video yesterday, he had to go and rescue his drill off the side of his road. And he had to drive across town on a Fent 1050 with triple wheels on the back. So he was about 26 foot wide. It was quite an interesting video. So you want to check that out. It's on his channel. I was watching that last night. It was quite funny. Uh, obviously the USA is nearer to Canada than we are. That's why I mentioned that. Uh, Harry Scott, Farmer Lamb on Twitter. Um, and Tris Whitaker as well. Now. Dennis Holden's birthday isn't today but Dennis I think is the oldest person watching the channel he's 85 so I got a message last night off one of his neighbours to say to give him a shout out so I don't do shout outs unless it's your birthday but I've made an exception because I think he's the oldest watcher anyway I've got to go in now I've got to get changed showered and do another Covid test lateral flow one this time I've got another PCR for tomorrow because I've got to go and talk to some farmers up at Garstang so I'll see you tomorrow 